Yeah, what's good, YouTube world? I'm in the studio kicking it. And I've been digging, y'all. Digging in the crates. I'm your girl, Jackie G, a.k.a. Sports Chick. But today, I'm not Sports Chick. I'm actually getting into some music, y'all. Today, I'm going to be getting into the old school hip-hop vinyl. And kid and play, this is most definitely... A uh, classic vinyl, y'all. Kid and Play, Christopher Martin, and Christopher Reed made Kid and Play the legendaries. Yeah, before I get into it, y'all, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. We had to grab it. Most definitely had to grab it. And the Kid and Play 2 hype was a very big record. It hit the 90s. And everybody went bonkers, man. Everybody went crazy over this album. And I still remember back in school when we heard Too High song came out. And everybody used to just jump up and start dancing and doing the kid and play. But yeah, these legendaries, y'all, they really hit the airwaves. And everybody loved it because they really had uh, upbeat, friendly music you know it wasn't really hardcore you know they brought a lot of uh, positive energy to the ears good party upbeat music and they also were pioneers as far as you know being trailblazers for a lot of artists and also you know they played in movies they had four movies they even had a cartoon <laughs> that i still remember and i just love the back cover the back cover, you know, they chilling, Mercedes Benz, they had a Jordan song, you know, just kicking it. This album was produced by Herbie Lovebug. Herbie Lovebug, he was a heck of a producer. You know, he produced the legends such as Salt and Pepper, Kwame, Patra, and I can go on and on with different artists, but I will be getting to this. So I will be doing a react. They also had like four or five bangers on here. They had Rolling with Kid and Play, Brother Man, Get Hip, Get Funky, Soul Man. I mean, they say Rolling with Kid and Play was the biggest song that they had. So big shout out to Kid and Play. I love this beautiful vinyl. And my next vinyl will be Dot Box and Be Fresh Airways in the 90s and in the 1990s. And a lot of people remember the big song that they had called Slow Love. Slow Love was pretty big. You also had Darlene and I'm a Survivor and New Jack. Here's the back cover of it, y'all. But here's another very rare vinyl. The executive producers were Joyce Irby and Gerald Busby get into slow love so I had to pick a MC Shan now this is a very classic vinyl I know a lot of people remember this album down by law he's an East Coast rapper down with the juice crew and a lot of people know this is a blueprint to hip-hop that's a very rare a lot of people remember this as a this album down by law yeah, they had a war going on. I won't say physical war. It was more a lyrical war. But yeah, Booking Down Productions and KRS won. So they had their their lyrical war song called The Bridge, which was a real big, back in the late 80s, real big song, real big hit, The Bridge. So they went both back and forth, back and forth. So it was pretty cool, but I will be doing uh, Left Me Lonely. I will be doing a react to Left Me Lonely. It's a lot of songs I have not heard on this final. And if y'all check out the back, it's pretty cool. He got the L Cool J vibe. But if y'all check it out, he have his Kango. He had his chain on. Looking real good. You know, that's what the guys used to rock back in the day. You know, real swaggy. And red puma shoes. I mean, that's hard right there. And this album was produced by Marley Marr. And he's a 
real good producer back in the day. You know, real good producer. Let's go ahead and get into it. I have my record player, which I have it connected to my MK2. So I actually gonna have the record player music being transmitted through my uh, interface. So you all will be able to hear the music clearer. So let's go ahead and get, in, get into it, y'all. All right, y'all, before I get into it, y'all, let me show y'all my new Mark record player. I love it. It's a real banger, you know, shaped like a suitcase. Got the speakers here. And this is actually MC Shan vinyl. You know, he was signed to Cold Chilling. Yeah, I love it, y'all. Here's my hip hop hop pictures that I have up. I have a lot more. Here's my Mackie speakers. I will be putting the music, transferring the music from the record player. Here's my MK2, y'all. So the interface, I'm gonna go ahead and put it through here so y'all will be able to hear the music clearer. So here's the MTK hardware, and here's the interface. So let's get it, y'all. Here we go, y'all. MC checking. That's it. Bye. 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 Bye.
She sounds like she could be a little loony a little bit, a little off, you know. And, you know, especially when she wrote back of his mirror using a lipstick, you know. Let him know what time it is. It'd be free. You know, she leaving him. She need to be free. You know, he would find somebody else. You know, it just sounds like she wasn't really feeling him like he was feeling her. But, I mean, he was very emotional, you know, especially when he said he would pick up the gun, put it to his head. And, I mean, it's crazy. But the way he done it, it was just so smooth. You know, he had a, a nice little style, nice cadence. All right, y'all, so I'm about to get ready to get into Doc Box and be fresh. He is the vinyl. So, I'm about to get ready to get into Slow Love. Slow Love. Hello? Long distance operator, we have a collect call from Doc Box on Mr. Henry Way. We accept the charges. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Yo, what's up, man? This is Doc, man. Hey, what's up? Yo, I know you're working on the slow cut, but my female want to say something to you. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, buddy. Hey, Henry, when you do that slow cut, could you put that boom in it for me? <laughs> Bust it. <laughs>
to your mind, you know, like nowadays, they just completely come out real bold, you know, on their lyrics, when they talk about sex and all of that, they were more discreet, it wasn't so put out there, you know, and that's what I liked, you know, they can still talk about temptation and love, and but it's not so, so bold, you know leave a lot to your imagination and he was just saying hey you know he like this lady and they about to do the do you know do the do and just say he's aroused by her and you know just give you a little taste of what he's speaking about so I mean it was a real big song back in the day I do recall being, you know, in the neighborhood when you had cars coming by, booming, have 
they assist them in their cars and everybody like, oh, that go Derek, that go Eric. And you know, all of us used to run outside because we used to hear the boom in the cars and everybody want to be seen. It just, you know, bring a lot of memories back when you hear a lot of slow song that's driven by bass. You know, I wanted to make sure to uh, have the music set up through the interface of the MK2. So you all would be able to hear all of the instruments, the bass. Because, you know, if I just had it on my new mark, y'all couldn't really hear it clearly. I'm about to get ready to get into, last but least, Kid and Play. Yeah, the legends, Kid and Play. Here's the vinyl. So you had two height on both sides. You had side one, side two. And I love vinyl, y'all. And this is a real well-kept vinyl. You know, no stretches. Rolling with Kid and Play to height. Here we go. <laughs> I love it, I love it, y'all. 
Oh, that is so beautiful. You know, like I said, they brought a lot of up-tempo fun dancing music. Everybody loved it. You have everybody on the dance floor breaking it down. The house parties lit. Everybody going to the movies, checking them out. It just, you know, was a real good, happy time. And that's the kind of music they wanted to bring to everybody. You know, like I said, it wasn't hardcore. They brought a lot of different type of vibe. You know, like you have artists such as MC Hammer, Crime um, you know, different artists. Uh, just good music, good feel music. You know, when you're feeling down, you, you know, you put the two height, get up, start moving. You know, just chill, dancing, music, happy music. So we do have to give props to the pioneers. You know, they paved the way for a lot of artists. You know, real music, genuine music, hip hop. So I wanted to bring this to you all, y'all. I wanted to have a, a session where, you know, we give props to all of the legends. And I really enjoy doing this video. But I will be bringing y'all more videos. I'm your girl, Jackie G. Y'all have a beautiful day. Stay safe out there, y'all. I'm out.